Downtown Houston early yesterday morning outside a bowling alley. The medical examiner is saying today takeoff was shot three times in the head, the torso and the arm. And now we are hearing from Houstonians who were with him just hours before the shooting. Brittany Ford joining us live downtown where there is a small collection of flowers and mementos. Brittany. And Mia, you can see live out here this evening that those flowers and candles are continuing to pile up out here. We've heard from people really from all across the country remembering takeoff's legacy, including one Houston jeweler who was one of the last to see him. Hey, quit the Johnny Dang, owner of Johnny Dang Iced Out Jewelry, was one of the last stops takeoff would make just hours before the downtown shooting at 810 Billboard and Bowling. Surveillance video from inside Dang's Richmond Avenue store shows takeoff and Quavo with entourage entering the store around 7 p.m. Monday night. Dang says the two came in to have some pieces clean and look at some other items. Police say the rapper was shot and killed after an argument broke out at the bowling alley rented out for a private party early Tuesday morning. Dang says takeoff and members of the Atlanta based group Migos always showed love when in Houston. With new information in the tragic shooting death of rapper Takeoff, a member of the popular group Migos. Two days after his murder here in Houston, the medical examiner officially ruling his death a homicide. And this is all coming, Rashi, as the new video shows a possible person of interest who police are now looking for. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle continuing our coverage tonight. Yeah, this new video obtained by TMZ does not show who fired the fatal shot, but it does show takeoff in a crowd of people where there could have been multiple guns. It also shows how quickly violence Houston connected. police to see if they have any more evidence on this case, including possible surveillance video. This is a business off of San Jacinto that's surrounded by cameras. If you have yo, yo, it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV. UPTV, make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. First and foremost, I have to send condolences once again to the entire family of Takeoff, man. Shot and killed out here in Houston, Texas at 28 years old. His mother flew out here immediately. The Migos offset Quavo, and Quavo was actually on the scene with him. Saw him take his last breath. And from what reports are saying, the other guy that was shot on the scene, and I can't confirm it from everything, but I see online they are saying that that was actually Quavo's assistance. I want to uh, send him condolences and a strong, speedy recovery, man, most definitely. This is tragic. Take off, you left the legacy, my nigga. You was a legend. You put your stamp in the ground, and you will go down in history, man, most definitely. Prayers up high, fly high, long live take off. But if you seen online, that night of that, the videos were all over TMZ, all over the news. They were out here with Jay Prince's son, Jazz Prince, in the car or around the car and everything like that, which then led them going to a private party. To my understanding, which I cannot confirm, that was a event for them to be there with them. And then it led to the altercation that happened and everything like that. They were on the scene, so Jay Prince has spoken out now, and it happened out here in H-Town, and he is one of the representatives of Houston, so he spoke and said this. The Prince family would like to send our condolences to the family and friends of a beautiful soul takeoff. To Houstonians and families around the world, this one breaks my heart because takeoff was a brother, a son, a role model, and a God-loving human being. Grief is the price of love. A bill people from across the globe are paying right now as we mourn this loss. I've been knowing Takeoff, Quavo, and Offset for many years, and there has been nothing but mutual love for one another, and that ain't going ever, to ever change where we are concerned. This shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have ever happened in our city. This shouldn't have been recorded, and this damn shirt shouldn't be circulating across social media for family, friends, and fans to see. As I write this, I'm angry about the lack of love and respect we have for one another as a race, which keeps bringing us back to the same tragic place, black on black killing. They say Satan is the author of confusion, and right now there are a lot of lies and false narratives being spread by media whores. I consider myself a man that's quick to listen and slow to speak. 
Therefore, to whomever is responsible for putting that bullet in my little nephew's head, let it be known that you can't hide behind me, beside me, or anywhere near me because I don't tolerate dumb shit. I speak these words not knowing whose bullet is responsible for his death. With that being said, the root of this tragedy is foolish and has to be owned by the fool. I will sum this up by saying a gun in the hands of any human that closes his eyes to shoot and doesn't have the proper skills of operating that gun is dangerous and the results usually end with innocent people who had nothing to do with this altercation being shot or killed. To the homies in Georgia and around the world that got love for takeoff like we do, know this. Let's change the narrative in our culture by putting an end to every argument or disagreement resulting in violence. It's okay to live and let live to see another day. Rest in peace, takeoff. Now that's what Jay Prince put out there. He spoke on it. And this is what I want to say for myself. Houston. This type of action don't represent Houston as a whole, my nigga. And I know that's not the thing to have, but I won't take off to be held high in high regard, my nigga. That man is a legend. He put his work in. Ten years in this thing changed how rap went. Most definitely did his stuff. It's his four-year anniversary hit yesterday for the last rocket. But Houston is a city that anybody can come to and get love show love and receive that back man we a place of southern hospitality these incidents are separate no way in hell was takeoff supposed to lose his life out here like that my nigga ain't no way they was supposed to go down that shit is lame bro and that man was standing there now i tell y'all like this but bro for all the internet detectives and crime solvers just keeping it a thousand this case is gonna come down to gun forensics and ballistics my nigga it's about what bullet can be extracted and proven this and that. The shell casings on the scene, you know, certain individuals who live a certain life, they wipe their bullets down before they put them in their car. If they was in a, in a gun, if they was living like that, then yeah, the DNA won't be on the bullet and whatever, but it's surveillance all around. It's plenty of eyewitnesses and people on the scene, my nigga. It's going to come down to that because multiple shots was fired. Don't nobody know who shot who yet. You can't solve the crime. The police are going to solve it, as they say. The detectives say he spoke with Takeoff's mother, the uh, lead detectives, Lim, and they say, hey, man, we're going to solve this crime and we will find who did this. Jay Prince say, I don't know who did this and it don't represent him. So tell me what y'all think, man. I once again have to send my prayers up to takeoff, bro. I cannot believe this shit happened once again in our culture. We took a legend out, and it hap It can happen in any city, but the fact that it happened in the city where I'm born and raised, bro, it's like, damn, we actually did that, and we shouldn't be taking nobody out, period, as a people. We have to get better. But once again, bro, takeoff, man. God bless. Fly high, gang. For sure. 1,000. Stay on your pivot. Prayers up to the Migos. QC. Everybody. Atlanta. Gwinnett. All that. For sure.